when it comes to like multiplayer it's like at the very least in terms of like long-term experience outside like because yeah i have had experience with call of duty and everything yes but it's not necessarily what i've had like long-term experience for me personally it's been my long-term experience with like multiplayer and just sort of that idea of like keeping on a battlefield and just like fighting some 10 year old who just like got like got home from school and like mom's just coming home it's like hey timmy i brought you your pizza what are you doing on here it's just like i <laughs> that for me that has always been like the fgc like the fgc has always been kind of that where you you have a bad day like just you, you just come home and just things are not going right you boot up something like tekken street fighter soul capper whatever and you just go to town mashing buttons doesn't matter if you know combos doesn't matter if you know chains doesn't matter like you just go to town mashing buttons and you just are able to get that out of your system and then next morning you wake up and you're just like all right well back to the grind and that in a lot of ways is just like is also something i found when it came to first person shooters like halo in, even in more recent years where it's just like i would come home like have to take the train deal with some drunk knucklehead who is just like just absolutely like blast plastered out of his like mind and just starting stuff on the train and everything and it's just like i just i just want to get home come home boot up something like halo and just go to town on it and immediately it was just like i get all of that like frustration out and everything next morning i wake up and just like you know what i feel good today i'm gonna go for a walk or something like that and i think it's like there's a there's a genuine magic to have when it comes to multiplayer games in terms of like in the way i see it sort of like stage multiplayer games as opposed to real life multiplayer games where with what i call stage multiplayer games it's just it's all on the stage it's all on the performance it's what it's in the moment and then after the performance is over after it's all done you're back to your normal selves you just yeah you, you break out of character and everything you just go back to doing what you're doing whereas like with real life multiplayer games it has a very dangerous feeling of just encroaching on just your real life and coming out it feels very dangerous in doing that and for me i think like uh a lot like some games i have played in terms of giving that feeling is just like they've they have not really made me feel good but as comp as opposed to like keeping in the same vein like as opposed to like my time playing halo my time playing cod there is legitimate moments of frustration infuriation and there's moments where it's just like exhilaration where it's just like i feel so glad i got a quadra kill i got i got kill manjaro i got like i i did so well in that game oh man i just got one shot by the dude with the fucking energy sword but they became moments where it's just like i look back fondly and nostalgia and go you know those are those were the good old days. Those were the those was the gym with the good times, and it just it, it just brings a smile on my face for whatever reason. Even the stuff that which that pissed me off in the game and everything, just it has this effect on me, and it's just I'm having a I feel like I'm having a bad time explaining it, but it's just this feeling that I can't explain, but it's just like I know it when I feel it. I think. There's a couple conversations to be had in that. It's one, gaming is going to be subjected to each people. Yeah. I, I'm not good at Minecraft. There's a lot of people that will swear by Minecraft. I am an okay FPS player. I'm generally on the more PvE side of things. I mean, there's people in the Destiny community that will trounce me. I mean, there's people in... You know, I have a buddy who, playing Halo 3, I mean, he will absolutely just run circles around me. Yeah. There are people racing games. I'm awful at those. So there is a subjectivity in gaming. And that helps kind of narrow down what you're doing. So, I mean, subjectivity of gaming going into Halo. I think Halo never really focused on the meta. So, let's go back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Same era, right? 2008, 2009, right? Yeah. Uh, a dual... What was it? Dual model 1887s. Pre-patch. They were snipers, right? People using, uh, you know, quick scoping montages for the oh, intervention, yeah, right? yeah. People running all these sorts of meta tricks. Commando Pro is going to be arguably one of the most meta things to run in the game. Um, one of the ones that modded lobbies nowadays actually gets taken out is uh, Painkiller Pro. 
because of the additional uh, kill streak uh, damage resistance that you get. So people, even if you have it on, it'll just swap to copy couch or something like that. Mm-hmm. So there's a foc- There's always been a focus on meta over there, and I'm pretty sure there's been a focus on meta in Halo. I mean, some people will probably just say, "Oh no, BXR headshots the way to go. AR's garbage. Why are you not just using the needler? Nah, just use green gun magnum, right?" I mean, sure, there's people that do that, but I don't think it was as prevalent in Halo. Not at least in the circles I was going in. And it was kind of just like, I have an AR and a pistol. I need to go blitz the rocket spawn. Mm-hmm. You blitz the rocket spawn. Now we have that advantage over the enemy team. Grats, we just got the double. Now they're going to be off spawn. And then we can rotate as a team to keep killing them on spawn, right? And I think that it's that lack of focus on meta and the fact that you did have to go get your power weapons. You, everyone started on the pretty much same playing field, right? Regardless of what game yeah. mode you play and what mod, mod game. Like, if you play all swords, right? Everybody has a sword. Yeah. It's not like somebody has this grapple into a sword. And part of the issue with Infinite, why the sword is so oppressive, is not necessarily even the sword's fault. It's because of how the movement system works and because... Um, not, not grapple, but because of how your slide works, it gives you so much reach with that. Yeah. So it's not really even the sword's fault. Halo didn't really ever seem to, at least to me, fall into these metagame traps. There are things in anything, in any system, there will always be things that are more efficient or better at doing the end goal, right? The end goal here being getting kills. What's going to be better at getting kills? The rocket launcher, the sword. Sure, maybe green gun precision, right? Plasma Mm -hmm. pistol, magnum, DMR, etc. But ultimately, if you're good enough... You can be sniping people all day. And the way Halo runs is because it doesn't function like a traditional FPS. It is an FPS, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But because you have to worry about thresholding, right? You have to worry about taking their shield down. And once their shield is down, then your body shots do only so much where a headshot's going to take it clean off, right? Mm -hmm. It it has enough going for it that you can not only insert yourself into the game. You have a community that, in general, has been pretty chill. It's, I think, a number of those factors coming into one to leave a memorable experience. You remember the good times because people were able to have fun where the focus nowadays anymore is new Call of Duty comes out. You need to be running this. This is the meta strat. New Destiny patch drops. New Destiny expansion comes out. Man, why aren't you using this exotic? Why aren't you using this? You know, this exotic is through the roof. And to a degree, as somebody that teaches raids, right, especially going through Pantheon, yeah, Maybe we do need the uh, maybe we do need the five or six uh, Titans with Thunder Crash and Parasite on Atrax, okay? Maybe we do need something like that. Or if the skill level's high enough, they can do it. But there are things that are just worse than others. So I think that leads into why it's such a memorable experience. There's mm-hmm. not necessarily all of this pressure on you to do different things. Yeah. You're allowed to play the game, right? Yeah, I would absolutely agree. And that's like, that is, as time has gone on, that is a like ever growing problem I've seen where it's just this, honestly, I'm just going to say it, there's this like feeling of projection that people put upon like the players where it doesn't matter whether or not it is a fighting game, it doesn't matter whether or not it's a FPS, it doesn't matter whether or not it's a gotcha game, it doesn't matter, like all the genres across the board from how I've seen, we'll have people in every corner going, why aren't you running this? Why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you using that? Why aren't you running this? And it's just like backseating constantly and constantly and constantly. And those good heavy memories just come to mind. It was just like when I really could just, I felt like I could just do what I want, honestly. And I felt like I honestly had fun doing it. And now, like back and forth even though i try to ignore it back and forth i have to deal with uh hearing like just people going basically why aren't you playing this game the way i play it if you play it how i play it you would be be having so much fun but what they fail to realize is just like you don't get to decide what me or anyone else considers fun that is for us to decide and if we want to play it the way that ultimately is making you agitated, sorry, not sorry, but that's just how we have fun. That's just how we enjoy ourselves. And if you don't like it, I mean, next door, there's someone who's probably playing the same game, like doing what you want, or hey, I mean, since you seem to be a fan of the game, you can pick up the game yourself and enjoy it yourself. It's just like, there's nothing stopping you from enjoying content with people that have or do stuff that you agree with in terms of how they play it and there's nothing stopping you 
virtually from playing these games where it's just like you get to play them how you want virtually 